In this problem, we're going to write an equation of a line that passes through these two points, 3, 4, and 0, 4. And we're going to write our answer in slope-intercept form, which is the famous but probably dreaded y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Now, in this case, it may be helpful to notice uh, or to know what the y-intercept is. The y-intercept is the y-value where x equals 0. And in this case we have a point where x is 0, which is great because it allows us to write this equation y equals mx plus b, but we're able to replace the b with the y-intercept, which is 4. So in this case, the final thing we're going to need to find is a slope, because we've already found our y-intercept. Let's go ahead and look at a method for finding the slope. All right, and I've zoomed in on these two points, and that's for a reason, because when we find our slope, it's going to be set up for us, all right? So what I'm going to do is connect the y's from left to right on the top, and the x's from left to right on the bottom. What this will do is it'll place the values of the numerator and denominator where they need to be. So, for example, we say, how far is it to go from 4 to 4. Well, you'd have to add 0, which gives us our numerator. In the denominator, to go from 3 to 0, you'd have to go to the left 3, or subtract 3, and that gives us a 0 over negative 3. Well, that gives us a total value of 0, which is our slope. So knowing that our slope is 0, what we're going to go ahead and do is replace this m with 0. And this is our equation. Now, I'm okay with you writing it like this, but some of your teachers may prefer that you eliminate this 0x, because anything multiplied by 0 is just 0, which would leave you with this y equals 0 plus 4, and 0 plus 4 is 4. And that's, our, that's a linear equation, that's a straight line that is horizontal. Uh, but that's, uh, that's it. So technically this is slope-intercept form, but for some of you, your teachers may want to see it more like this down here, y equals 4. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Good luck in your math.